Overseas tonight, airports with direct flights to the United States have started ramping up their security procedures. We reported on this on the way last night after the warning from U.S. intelligence that terrorists might target a passenger aircraft with explosives hidden in personal electronic devices. This has led anticipatively to some confusion and frustration at some major airports. We get our report tonight from NBC's Tom Costello. Government security sources say the new tighter screening procedures should now be in place at overseas airports with direct flights to the U.S. Select airports in Europe, the Mediterranean, North Africa, and the Middle East now inspecting passengers' personal electronics for any signs of explosives. Among the cities stepping up security, Istanbul with daily non-stops to New York. It's probably a good idea as long as it doesn't slow people down. But in Paris, some passengers did complain of longer lines. Did I fly a lot? And I've never really seen it kind of as chaotic as this. Rebecca Waters was headed to St. Louis today. I'm very willing to open up my computers and turn them on and show them that there's nothing to hide. The stepped up security comes after U.S. intelligence learned Al-Qaeda-linked bomb makers in Yemen and Syrian extremists could use electronics to target passenger planes. On its website, British Airways tells its U.S. bound passengers, if when asked to do so, you are unable to demonstrate that your device has power, the device will not be allowed to travel on your planned service. Security sources tell NBC News some airlines could prohibit the passenger from boarding. The challenge, say counterterrorism analysts, is to see beyond the last known plot. Today, the bomb looks like an iPad, and last week it looked like a, a printer cartridge. Adding to the challenge, security experts warn the traditional metal detector found in many European airports may not do the job. It can only detect metal, and yet uh, most improvised explosive devices, most bombs, actually contain extremely uh, limited metal content in any case. Which means the checkpoint security staff must be even more vigilant. Security analysts remain concerned that overseas they may see a security operation at an airport compromised and a terrorist actually infiltrating the staff or planting something on the plane itself.